Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you also may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours but also for the sins of the whole world. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. Yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons, he provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. The punishment inflicted on him by the majority is sufficient. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Josh said to the priests, Collect all the money that is brought as sacred offerings to the temple of the Lord, the money collected in the census the money received from personal vows and the money brought voluntarily to the temple. Let every priest receive the money from one of the treasures, then use it to repair whatever damage is found in the temple. God presides in the great assembly. He renders judgment among the gods. I said you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright a man who fears God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan very well then, Everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord.